Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Funi. These are my opinions and no one else's. So today's topic is that he is lying to you. Firstly, I'd like to apologize, but I had to make this video before the next weight loss one. I know I promised that I'm going to continue with my weight loss videos, but I needed to make this one before I proceed. Men believe in what they see and women believe in what they hear. This is one of the main reasons why women stay in relationships that are toxic and broken and still hope for the best. It is easy for one to say something they do not mean than it is to show it. This is also going back to gaining weight. A lot of women think their partners are comfortable with their weight gain because they say so. He will say anything you want to hear because he knows that is exactly what you need in order to be happy. Most men go out there shopping or whatever, going out with women dressed in ways that they are uncomfortable, but they are scared to say it and they just say they look okay because they know that if they tell you otherwise, you will feel hurt and you might fight with them. It then makes it easier for you to gain some fake confidence just because you believe what you are being told. Women believe what they hear. Hence, we lie to each other as friends and tell each other that we are beautiful, even if we are not. What is the point in trying to convince myself that what my friend is saying about my image is real when all the time I'm standing in front of the mirror, I'm wishing I looked different? The lies will only make you feel good for just a certain time. A lot of men do not like that you are gaining weight, be it from childbirth or otherwise. And oh, before I continue, for those who just eat anything that passes through and blame it on childbirth, you need to stop it. There are some weight gains which we inflict on ourselves. You are to blame for that and there are some that are hormonal, which are very difficult, if not impossible, to lose regardless of what you do, which is what I had. Stop being proud of your beer belly just because you are so-and-so's mother. Like I said... Having a child does not make you special or more important than others. The moment you stop calling yourself or referring to yourself by your name and start calling yourself Funi's mother, you have completely lost your identity. And once you lose your identity, you stop working on you. I do not see men doing that at all. I rarely, if not ever, hear men calling himself Funi's father. And this has nothing to do with love but self-realization men know who they are it don't matter how much your man loves you the truth is that your physical appearance is what attracted him to you in the first place not your character not your inner self those came after he knew you he lasted on your looks so if he found you wearing size 32 and you eventually now wear size 40 do you think he should automatically now like size 40 if he liked size 40 he would have gone with that from the get-go Stop lying to yourself by thinking they like you forever regardless of your changes. Your man will love you and not like you at the same time. Let me repeat this. Your man will love you and not like you at the same time. He is visual, remember? I'm not body shaming anyone, don't get me wrong. But the truth is, he is lying to you and because you believe in what you hear, you believe in that lie. I was lucky enough for my husband to be honest with me from the moment I started gaining weight. His honesty made it easy for me to include him in my journey and for him to understand where I was coming from and where I wanted to go. It is very difficult to go on a diet alone in the household and having to cook two different pots. The only way for a diet to work, those fat diets that you take, is for you to clean out the entire cabinet and make sure the food that's there is actually for eating clean because you cannot i don't care who you are you cannot have all the junk food in the cupboard and not be tempted even for one single day so it's very good for your partner to always be on the same page as you are and understand that at that moment you are both going on the diet my husband knew what i had become was not what he liked and that made it easier for him to support me and work with me throughout my entire journey I was never fat. We were. He knew about every doctor's appointment, every dietitian's advice, every medication I had to go through, every hormonal imbalance I had, and every possible route I took in trying to lose the weight. 
At first, the honesty really hit home. But today, it is one of the things that makes us stronger as a husband and wife. I have sponged so much from him that I also like what I see. If he looks anything that I do not like, I tell him and he changes. It's a two-way street. Action speaks louder than words, I get. It is easier for him to lie to you than it is for you to show him. If he found you at the weight that you are right now, then he genuinely likes you. But if you changed by either gaining or losing weight, then his likeness should be questioned. Age does not change a person's preference. You just learn to tolerate things. So our men learn to tolerate our image. Do not let yourself go because regardless of pleasing your partner, you are not happy. If you dig deeper, you will realize that you do not like yourself and a big body comes with comorbidities or illnesses. I once posted on Facebook about how I have begun to love the person that I was then when I was still fat and how I did not care what people thought about me. The one thing I was right about was not caring what people thought about me, but I lied about loving the big body image. My verbalizing it did not help me at all. I still saw myself as a different person. I still did not recognize myself when I looked in the mirror. I still wished a part of my body would disappear. I still missed the me that I was before the weight gain. Stop believing what your partners are saying because at the end of the day, it should be about you. Just because he says you look good, it doesn't automatically make you feel good. Listen to yourself. That is the real feeling. Just because you are aging, it doesn't mean that you have to look horrible. There is no manual on how you should look, but a bigger frame comes with a lot of health risks. You can give yourself fancy names like big, beautiful thingamabob, but cholesterol, diabetes, stroke, heart attack will always keep their original names and forms and major ways of attacking you. I'm not saying being skinny makes you immune from those illnesses, but you are at high risk if you are bigger. I have been all of it, smaller and bigger. I know and understand the different mental health statuses of being smaller and bigger. And if I didn't know better, I do now. Because how I feel since the weight loss is a beautiful, most fulfilling feeling I have ever felt in my entire life. I love this feeling. You should try it too. You have nothing to lose but the weight. If you feel like you don't like the weight loss, it is always easy to gain the weight back. Thank you once again for watching till the end. Do not forget to subscribe if you haven't. Hit the like button, turn on notifications, and share.